Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Witch of the Boratory. And we'd like to welcome you today to the Lab Secret Solution. This is your introductory video, and today we're going to briefly walk you through what it'll be like to start out with your Lab Secret Solution. We're going to run through some of the options you have available, some tips and tricks, and some basic how to get started things. So let's jump right in. If you're ready, we're right here at a sample site that we've set up that has our new lab theme core template. And what that means is that's the starting point from which you can build either your own style or add one of our lab skins or you can go ahead and have some additional CSS and other styling added to it. Now in this particular case I'm going to run you through a couple of the front end features and then we're going to bounce back and forth to the back end. If you've never used a website before don't worry this is based on WordPress and it's extremely easy to use so don't feel like you have to learn everything the first day and certainly we're not going to teach you everything you want to know in this one tutorial. By default you have a couple things. First of all although you can turn it on and off you have a master uh, admin dashboard panel at the top. This is available to you as the administrator and it's also available to members of your social network. Remember the lab secret solution has a social networking component to it which is optional but which is very powerful. That means that people who join your site can not only participate by being readers but they can actually interact with one another and share multimedia share information, they can go ahead and create their own blog posts, their own groups, forums, etc. Now this panel at the top may or may not be appealing to you for your particular theme. So again, I'll show you, you can turn it off on the back side. But as the admin, it gives you access to all the various social network features as well as communication with the various members of your site. It also gives you a notification box here to keep you posted on any really pertinent information. On the other part of the site, we've also got a new slide out panel. Gives you some additional space that is able to tuck out of the way. Gives a little more free space on your main navigation. Now your main navigation itself has the capacity for multi-level dropdowns, meaning it can have a single dropdown or it can have additional secondary and tertiary dropdowns popping out as well. It's all drag and drop as we'll show you in a second. And it can be moved about anywhere on the site which we'll also show you how to do. Now we've also got a couple other features here that we like. One of the things we've included in the Lab Secret Solution are some custom tools. We call them lab tools. They're included on the back end and they give you access to such immediate tools as a login box which can be positioned anywhere. Let me show you what happens when you log out. It's got some nice controls here that allow you to see the uh, screen and never leave it while still giving you access to what you need to log in. We have a number of zones that are available to you so you can drag and drop various things into them and create different layouts. As we'll show you in a second, that means you've got a top header area, you've got the navigation area, you've got three column, two column, or one column uh, layout possibility on the main site body. And you've also got a footer area. The footer area can also accept our Foot Doctor plugin, which gives you the ability to instantly create some very fancy footer elements. Here I've got some basics which come with your site that allow you such things as a terms of service and a privacy page very quickly. And last but not least, the site itself is completely white labeled. So that means you'll find no references to Widget Laboratory or Lab Secrets. It means also that you can go ahead and create custom templates or themes yourself and then go ahead and remarket them to your particular clients utilizing our design plan. Uh, we'll go into some of those details towards the end of this tutorial. All right, now that we've done a little bit of exploring at the front, let's see what's on the back side. Now, in order to get to the back side, all you do is take your domain name and you add slash WP dash admin. When you do, you'll see an admin dashboard panel that looks something like this. Now, there's a variety of things on this page that I'll walk you through as well. First of all, in general, you have a header which will show the current name of your site. You can rename your site anything you want by going to the settings menu. So let's start with that. When you go to settings, you'll be able to go under the general tab and see the site title here. We've used the lab secret solution and that's why that shows up in this area as well. You can also put your own tagline in. Remember the tagline is some additional features about your site that you want people to understand when they first read about you. Now that will also show up in the header of the site 
when you're looking at the particular web browser. So remember, you'll have the title, and then you'll have a divider, and then you'll have the tagline. So choose those wisely. But remember, you can always change them at any time. Okay, let's go back and see the rest of the admin dashboard area. When we go to the top here, the first thing that we have is called Dashboard. That's going to be the place that you'll typically visit when you come to your site. You have the ability to add a variety of widgets into this area to help you manage your site. Also, keep in mind that each of these widgets can be collapsed or expanded simply by using the little tab at the right-hand corner. Likewise, they're all draggable and can be repositioned in any order that makes it easier for you to run your site. Lastly, there's a tab at the top here called Screen Options. When you click on it, you have the ability to display various widgets on your dashboard. For example, if I want to turn on the plugin uh, display widget to show what new plugins might be available across WordPress, click on that, and now I have a new panel. If I wish to drag it over, I can do that. Now, this is a very powerful way to set up a custom experience. You can also change the number of columns from 2 to 1, back to 3, or 4. Regardless of which way you like to set it up, it's all at your discretion. On the other side of things, you always have the ability to see any updates that are available. And that means that if you're using plugins that are inside of the WordPress repository, they will indicate when they need to be updated. That also includes your core WordPress installation. It's incredibly easy to maintain here because all you'll need to do if there are uh, an update available or are updates available is simply click on the button that says Update Now. One of the most important parts of using the Lab Secret solution is that we're basing our products upon WordPress and the BuddyPress plugin. BuddyPress adds the social networking components to WordPress, and it's a very powerful tool by itself, made even better with the addition of our custom code and additional features. So you'll notice under BuddyPress that you've got some component settings here that for the most part you won't ever have to change. But if you remember when I introduced this video, I said you can disable certain things on the front end, including hiding the admin bar for logged out users. So if you recall, the admin bar here is an attractive feature if you are logged in and using the site, but perhaps when people are browsing your public blog page or any of your other public pages and aren't registered or logged in, you don't want to show that. Absolutely no problem. Simply select this option and you can hide that admin bar. Be sure to scroll down and click the Save Settings. Now there's a couple other features here, but basically there are things that allow you to tweak and customize the overall user experience for your Lab Secret solution. One of the most important ones that you'll probably decide right off the bat is whether you want to use a default gray avatar, which by the way can be customized to include your own personal or corporate logo instead of the mystery man. You can also use the Identicon, Wavatar, or Monster ID systems. Those are basically online systems that create instant unique avatars for the members of your site. They're a little bit campy, so if you want to stay with something automatically generated, you might go with the Identicon, which is just a bunch of patterns. The Wavatar and Monster ID are a little more fun. All right, now go ahead over to the component setup, and you can see BuddyPress also has some additional things you can set up, which again, we'll get into more details later, but you can decide to turn on the various social networking uh, features like activity streams, forums, friends, groups, messaging, and these can also be extended by the way of additional plugins. We have forums. When you get your default lab secret solution set up, we've already installed the basic forums. Forums are available to all your members inside of individual groups. You can also have one group for the entire site. And lastly, you have the ability to add some profile fields. Now, by default, we want you to keep it simple with your members. So when people register at the site, the bare minimum they need to sign up will be a unique username and a unique email address. You can, however, add as many custom fields as you wish, and you can even group them into subcategories. We suggest you keep it kind of easy so that the friction of joining your site is relatively low. Once people are a member, you can go ahead and contact them and require that they add additional features or profile information. Now, lastly, there's a plugin that we've installed when you're using our lab tools called Lab Security. It's a one-click button that gives you the ability to make your entire social network pages private. That means that people who are browsing your site from the public side of things will not be able to view the inside of your social network. It's a one-click option, but it's not your only option. We have some granular level control as well. Okay, that brings us to the end of tutorial video one. We'd now like you to go back and start tutorial video two, which can be found at labsecrets.com.